So, recall. Recall. Uh, poor, I, I, I almost feel for uh, Samsung because they, they rushed the Note 7 out hoping to scoop Apple, right? Get this out the door, get people talking about the Note 7 before the iPhone 7 steals all the thunder. Uh, but one little problem, Apple second sourced their batteries. They used to use a Chinese company. They're still using that, but they're also making their own batteries in Samsung's own factories. And apparently it's this, this is really embarrassing. It's the Samsung batteries that are overheating and exploding uh, I think I mentioned this last week, and maybe not, because I got it on, I think on Friday, the email from T-Mobile where I got my phone saying you can turn it in and either wait for a new uh, Note 7, we'll have it in a week or two, or you can get a refund. And I thought, well, I've already reviewed it, I'm going to get a refund. But then, and then I thought, but I kind of like it. And then I read something, now tell me if I'm nuts, and I'm not recommending this. But the Wall Street Journal and others reported that because the f phones made in China couldn't use the Korean Samsung batteries, those were not being recalled because all the Chinese batteries were okay. It was the Samsung batteries that were causing problems. Interestingly, T-Mobile, of all the U.S. carriers, is the only one that was offering phones made in China. Everybody else was getting the phones made in Korea, uh, or elsewhere. So they th this article, I don't know I, I don't know how reliable it is, said check the back of your phone. If it says made in China, which this does, you don't have to worry. You have the Chinese battery in it. And I have to say I've never felt it to overheat. I've quick charged it many times, never seen a problem. It doesn't get I feel it doesn't get too hot. It gets warm, but it doesn't get too hot. And most of the time I'm wirelessly charging it at a slower pace anyway. I thought I'd take a chance. Crazy? Oh, you crazy, crazy man. Crazy? Is it? I don't know. Do you talk with it in your pocket or up to your ear? Which which do you want to explode? No, it only explodes when you're charging it. Oh, well yeah. then. Yeah. It doesn't who, just who randomly cares? blow up. It's from overcharging. Okay. Well, It's then, like the hoverboards. You know. And I still, by the way, have a hover, an exploding hoverboard at home. And the only rule we have is you have to be home when you charge it. So if it explodes, it'll hit you. Are you just you just waiting for it to explode? Yeah. Just the <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel like now, and I'm and by the way, I'm not advocating this, but I feel like that was enough evidence. I couldn't understand why they weren't recalling it in China, and I, that that seemed like a, a credible story to me. And this well, is made in does, China. If it does overheat, can you return it then for a reason? Yeah, I'm sure I could. Oh, so it's a win-win. Yeah, well, as long as it doesn't blow up and, and melt my face or burn the house down, it's a win-win. Or, or, or cause $2,000 worth of damage yeah. to a hotel room, like that one poor sap who in Australia, not poor sap, poor guy, but yeah, he uh, That's, he plugged it in his hotel and oh. it, it blew up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, see, this is why I didn't want to do it, because I want to have the phone with me when I take go on vacation in, in uh, a week from Sunday. And I didn't think I'd have a new phone replacement by then. But now I know I'm going to be able to get an iPhone 7. So maybe, I don't know, I really like the Note 7. <sighs> it's, it's, it's really a bummer because I don't think I have seen a launch of a phone with so much goodwill uh, behind it than this Lots Note 7 of launch. Lots reviews. I mean, I mean every, every Samsung launch has been strong to date. You know, you've seen a lot of great stuff with the Galaxy line and things like that. But this Note 7, it just seems universally praised. And now this is just like it's a snapback to just completely reject it and like, oh, it's, you know, like, careful, it's going to blow up. Because once you hear that some phones are being recalled and blown up, that just damages the entire line. Right. And it's it's hard to recover from that. And, you know, clearly Samsung stock has taken a hit and they're going to see decline sales. A it's billion just, and a half uh, yeah. uh, charge against uh, yeah. earnings on this. It's going to cost them a lot of money. They'd sold, well, now somebody's saying two and a half million of them. Only, 30, only 35 explosions. Jeez. I mean, those well, are and good and it's, odds. And it's funny because explosions. I, uh, and and the thing is, is that I I mentioned this last night on all about Android, and then I saw it uh, earlier today. But the FAA is cracking down on lithium ion. You right. can't uh, you can't carry lithium ion batteries in checked luggage. Right. Um. And now they're looking at this phone, and they might ban this phone completely. Oh, that would so, be bad if I yeah. couldn't get on the plane with it. Yeah. What if I promise not to charge it? I'll turn it off and just leave yeah. it sitting. It's not going to explode. So that's the thing, and I think that some of this is over. Blown. I mean, it's not going to explode just sitting in your pocket. It's you it's have not, to. It's not a ticking time bomb. Yeah. I mean. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, 
I don't know. Somebody in the chat room says, I have my, my Note 7 came from Sprint. It also says made in China. And I use fast charging. It never gets hot. Look on the back. That's the one. That's where you want to look. Is uh, it'll say in the fine print. It'll say whether it was made in Singapore, made in China, made in Korea. Um, and suppose uh, Samsung's not telling us this. And in fact, the Consumer Reports said Samsung should do an official recall. They are not doing that through the CPSC, the Consumer Product Safety Commission. If you do an official recall, it becomes illegal to sell these. And, and, and the speculation is Samsung doesn't want to do that because there are people still selling Note 7s. In fact, Samsung, well, one of the options that T-Mobile gives me is hang on to the phone until we have a replacement. Then you can bring it in. Doesn't sound like they're really concerned. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's such a the, the percentage. Uh, it's it's interesting because we we were again we were talking about this last night all about Android. And we were wondering how much of did because Jason Hal brought up the question: Did Samsung know about this? Right. Is that why we have this recall program in place so quickly? Right. And my argument was that they have they they have a you know an emergency break glass plan for when something like this goes wrong with another I, I'm assuming this that you know God forbid something goes wrong that they don't they don't know about this is what we need to do in order to stay on the side of consumer safety and pro consumer values and all that sort of thing um, but I wonder if they have any way of estimating you know yes we've only heard that's only been 35 but is there some percentage of the ones that have been sold like is there some what is their risk assessment of what this risk is and that could be driving how dramatically they're pushing for the the exchange or not Right. And uh, I think yeah. Consumer Reports isn't far off when they say Samsung should be more forthcoming about this and more aggressive. Yeah. But it, it, and the thing is that now if someone's walking up to a store to go buy a Note, uh, Note 7, if they've heard about this, five bucks says they're walking away. They're, yeah. they're reconsidering that purchase. That's right.